Okay, you guys, now it's time to... <laughs> I officially announce the war in the spirit realm. In the spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit and prayer. For the, the protection of the 144,000. It's a little bit different for them. They have protection from God. And they have something that means, remember he said something about throwing your pearls? Do not throw your pearls to the swine. But they have something that looks like a pearl on their forehead. And there's other jewelry. There's the necklace. The ring. On this hand. Just saying, with all due respect, bring it. But just listen closely to the dreams of the whip from heaven. And a fire comes out of their mouth and consumes them. And that's first and foremost in the spirit to the demons. A burning fire in the name of Jesus. Now when the fire comes down, Jesus is in the fire with you. That Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, there was a fourth man. That, that was your meeting place with the Lord is in the fire. But remember, it burned up the enemies of God. So for those who love the Lord, when that fire comes down, it's like, oh, wow, thanks, Lord. Woo! Woo! Praise God! Woo! Glory! Meanwhile, you look around and everything's burned up. All the demons. And they won't ever forget. Because God will put a pain on them. And they'll reap what they sow. Like at any given time in the past, if a demon has caused something to happen, like lit somebody on fire or something, like a demon did it, caused it to happen somehow well that demon is going to get to experience and reap what he sows on that so it's a war the war is on the consequences for those who obey God is more glory but the consequences for those who disobey God is a painful fire that will burn you up and when I say painful and if it's not God's judgment, that means you're thrown into the lake of fire. Whereas, whatever remains, now the Bible talks about that. Whatever remains, is the, they say that's the, that's the gold refined in the fire, is what they say. And the Bible says some quickly fall away quickly and others the bible says the bridegroom was a long time in coming and they kind of wore out and they didn't have enough oil in their vessel so that's two different types of so-called christians now i wouldn't want to be missing the bridegroom that's all i'm saying so anyone who teaches, do you want to be left behind to help? Unless you're one of the 144,000, which I hope you clarify that. And anyone who follows a demon that teaches something like that. And then they're all expecting the rapture to happen. And after the rapture, there's some sort of revival. Are you kidding me? But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible makes it clear. There's 144,000 and those who have taken the mark of the beast. And 
And God is only pouring out his wrath on the inhabitants of the earth. Now there may be some Jews somewhere in, in Israel. There's one last verse that says that some people repented when they saw it. And the last thing to happen is God rains down huge hailstones. What a good idea. It's just ice. It could probably disable a tank if you dropped enough on it. It could probably, it would kill anybody who's on the ground. And then it would just dry up with no environmental consequence at all. That's how God fights. He'll use a lightning bolt. He doesn't need to develop some deathly, death chemical agent to create a bomb and then thus pollute the atmosphere by the production of these chemical materials. Radiation, to name one, you know. Just saying. Uh, let's see what the book of Enoch says. Just watch that, for goodness sake.